Hello everybody and welcome back to Power Sessions with Natasha. I hope everybody's doing well and yesterday we are back with another video on mathematics and geometry. Where did it all come from? Where did it originate from? Because most people when they go to school are taught that Pythagoras was the father of mathematics and geometry. Our children today are still being taught these lies today. Interestingly, they are taught all about the so-called Greek contributions, neglecting entirely the pre-Greek era of glorious African dynasties. Yes, our ancestors. This is very misleading because, you know, I wonder how the face of the tremendous, you know, evidence demonstrated by the accomplishments of pyramid buildings, that such deception could still succeed in modern day society. I wonder, African people had knowledge of these subjects long before the time of the Greeks. Of course they did. How? Because everything came from Africa. Modern civilizations as we know it came from Africa. Evidence of a mathematical system was discovered in Africa. Let's look at one of the most important features and pieces ever found. To support this the ishango bones that were found in the congo they were said to be at least ninety thousand years old when they were found the ishango bones are the first mathematical tool of mankind they have the oldest table of prime numbers it represented a six-month lunar calendar prime numbers and a menstrual calendar this is amazing at the end of the Ishango bone, when you look at the Ishango bone, please Google it and look at the pictures. At the end of the Ishango bone is a piece of quartz for writing and the bone has a series of notches carved in groups. And it was first thought that these notches were some kind of tally marks, you know, as found to record counting all over the world. We all have used tally marks in school, even in adult life. You know, people use tallies to make it easy for them to just count. However, the Ishango bone is much more than a simple tally. There are three rows on an Ishango bone. The markings on the first row and the second row each add up to the number 60. The second row contains prime numbers between number 10 and 20. The first row is quite consistent with numeration system based on 10 since the notches are grouped as 20 plus 1, 20 minus 1, 10 plus 1, and 10 minus 1. Finally, we have the third row, which seems to illustrate the method of duplication, the multiplication by 2, which was used more recently in Egyptian multiplication. Recent studies with microscopes have illustrated that more markings show and now understand that the bones were also used as a lunar phase counter. Who but a woman was keeping track of her cycles would need a lunar calendar. So, were women our first mathematicians? Hmm. Understand this. Europeans had not even learnt to read or write in these times at all. The saddest thing about all of this is that the first mathematical tool in the world, the Inshango bone found in the Congo, is now housed at the Museum of Natural Sciences in Brussels, Belgium. What is it doing in the museums of the people who colonized the Congo? We as a people need to get our history from them, from their museums, because they don't ever want to credit us for our accomplishments, our intelligence, and bringing forth civilizations. But all they are good at is stealing our amazing history and filling it in their museums. This is part one of geometry and mathematics coming out of Africa. We will do a part two. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.